Have you ever just taken a cracking picture, just a really, really stunning photo, and you look at it and you're like, I would just love if that background was just a little bit more blurred. Well, luckily you won't ever have to think that again because today we're gonna to do a tutorial covering the new lens blur effect in Lightroom and how you can use that to make your photos look exactly as you imagine them. I've got this picture that I took of myself in Japan a couple of years ago. It was a simpler time. I was traveling, I was backpacking, don't judge. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is scroll up here to the top right of the screen and hit the editing options. Now, when the options open, you want to scroll down the page Keep on scrolling until you get down near the bottom and it has the lens blur option here. Now to add the effect we can just hit the tick box that says apply and it will start to load and start to estimate the depth of the photo. Now the first thing we need to be mindful of is this box down the bottom called focal range. So this is effectively a slider that tells Lightroom where you want the focus to be in this photo. So as you slide the slider left and right it'll change where it's applying the blur to that photo. Now the focal range slider effectively controls the broadness or narrowness of the depth of field. So if you drag that down from 100, you'll start to narrow that depth of field. Now it's not always perfect and in a busier photo, it might be a little bit more difficult to hone in on exactly what you're trying to do in terms of what's in focus and what's out of focus. So they've also added these other tools that help you to refine that selection a little bit better in order to get exactly what you're looking for. So I can use the focus and the blur tools to refine that selection a little bit more and to tell Lightroom exactly what I want in and out of focus. So for example, if I wanted to blur out my face here, I could just select the blur tool, then I can select my brush size, how much I want to feather it, and then I can literally just paint over my face, and that's all it takes to blur out my face. Now, if I decide that I actually want to bring that back into focus, then I can click the focus tool, again, select my brush size, and then just click and paint over this again, and then you'll see that it's starting to come back into focus again. So as you can see, an incredibly simple tool to use and one that's really, really effective. Now, one thing I will say is don't use this as a substitute and as an excuse to shoot poorly. Always try to get your photos right first time in camera and don't rely on the editing process, but it is a nice thing to fall back on if it doesn't go quite right for you. If you got value from this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, all that fun stuff that the algorithm likes, and I'll see you in the next one. I don't think that really worked, but uh, yeah, bye.